Unofficially, Memorial Day weekend means summer is here. And we hope you've been shaping up for summer with our fitness expert, Bonnie Kay. But if you've been having motivational problems as you hit the home stretch, well, Bonnie's here to help. That's right. And as you know, Susan, it can be very difficult to stick with your workout it program. It sure is. You can run into all sorts of mental roadblocks or get bored. But when it comes to athletic mind games, this is one instance where you can perform just like the elite athletes of the world. Two-time Olympian Colleen de Burke has had her share of ups and downs when it comes to winning, losing, and achieving her goal to be the best marathon runner in the world. One of Colleen's training tips, the buddy system. She hooks up with a variety of training partners to stay motivated, including her husband, her dog, and even her daughter for support. Go, mommy, go. Good job, Carl. And then just by being together with those people and, and working out with them and just discussing your, your aims and your dreams, I think that is the most easiest and most simplest way to do it. So ask a friend, spouse, or trainer to meet you for a workout and you'll be more likely to show up. Another trick, visualization. Colleen takes time out in the evening and even in her sleep to visualize her goal. I have dreams about the race. I dream that the race is going to be won in this time or, you know, I've won the race and I, I'm, I'm feeling so great. Visualize how you want to look in your swimsuit. Imagine walking on the beach and everyone noticing how great you look. Focus on the process, the small steps you need to take along the path to achieving those bigger goals. I do try and pick smaller goals in between so that I have something to aim for. And if you've, you've got something to aim for, then it's easier to, to go out and do it. For instance, create a daily workout schedule and aim to lose one to two pounds a week, rather than fixating on the long-term goal of the 20 pounds you want to lose. And don't get overzealous and overdo it. Go at a pace that works for your fitness level. 99% of people just go out there and train way, way too hard. You know, their brains get way ahead of their physical capabilities, and then they, they stop the program. Bobby McGee is Colleen's coach and also trains recreational athletes in his mental training program called Unleash. His goal is to help the average person unleash the athlete within. It begins with believing in yourself. There just is no place for saying that was not good enough because everything is good enough. Just getting there is good enough. Buying that first pair of shoes, putting on that first sweatshirt, that's victory after victory after victory of being an athlete. Get to the end of the week, I exercise three times a week. You are a winner because you got out the door, you put on your sweats and you went out there. That was it. Well, I'm pumped up. Another key to success, discover something you really like. Running may be a great calorie burner, but if you don't like to run, you're probably not going to do it. So experiment. Try squash, swimming, even surfing. Find the sport to help you find that athlete within. And remember, Susan, the reason that you're doing it, to be fit, to look better, feel better, maybe even just to play better on your company softball team. They're all worthy goals. You know, Bonnie, I am so undisciplined, though, that when I go out to jog, if I don't have music with me, I can't go three feet. I mean, is, that, is music some kind of motivation? I mean, it is for me. Is it proven that that really helps people exercise better? I use it a lot personally, and there's actually a study that proved that the participants exercise 25% longer and with less perceived exertion while listening to music. So there's a lot to that. Music is a great motivating factor, and you might want to do that if you're having a hard time sticking with your program. So people should go out there, get their favorite tapes. Yeah. Work out to your music, and a lot of times you can get music that has the beat that you're running to or walking to or lifting your weights to. So get the kind of beat and kind of music you want, and you'll probably uh, work out a flyby before you know it. All right. Well, Bonnie Kay, thanks for giving us another important tip to get in shape for summer. You're welcome.